Hello guys, it's back to work again today um, and I realise that I keep filming in my robe but it's pretty much what I wear after I have a shower and I seem to keep filming after I've had a shower. It's actually what I wear most of the time. <laughs> it's so comfortable. I'm very glad I got it. Anyway, I'm feeling more motivated than I have in a really long time and I know I said that probably a couple weeks ago when I was doing well with my eating but I'm now doing well with my eating, I'm doing well with my exercise and I'm doing well with I've quit Pepsi for like ages now and it's not a factor in my life at all anymore I'm not going to go back to it and I know that if I can perpetuate this this will be the healthiest um, and in probably six months time the fittest that I've ever been if I just keep this up if I just continue it which I know that I can and I know that I will because I'm just so motivated I feel incredible I'm so happy but it's not even about being happy because you can't be happy all the time it's about knowing where I'm headed and knowing that I'm doing the things that it's going to take to get there I've ran 17 kilometers already this week um, over four days it's nothing compared to what I used to run when I was running 40 or 50 but it's getting back there last week I only ran 12 k's the week before I probably ran less than 10 I'm building on it and I'm getting better and before I know it next week I might run 30 k's and then 40 k's the week after who knows either way I'm going to continue to try and I'm going to continue to get better couldn't be happier right now um as a result of quitting Pepsi I'm drinking so much damn water out of my nutrition warehouse protein shaker probably drinking at least three liters a day which is awesome especially because I run obviously I expel expend a lot of water I guess that's what you'd say. Use a lot of water. Um, and I'm drinking black coffee. That's probably something I wouldn't mind getting rid of eventually, the coffee. But the fact that I drink it black without any sweeteners and without any milk, it's kind of not nearly as bad as, as it could be. So yeah. I'm all, I've also been reading Minimalism. Can't even see the damn title. By The Minimalists. Um, I went to their show in Melbourne uh, last month sometime. Um, and that was really good. That was really good. And I'm enjoying the book. I'm enjoying reading, I'm, I'm journaling again, not journaling, but I'm like writing down everything I achieve every day again. And I've been watching motivational videos and all that sort of stuff. And I feel like watching videos like that to motivate yourself, it really just gets the spark firing in your head to remind you of just how short life is and how you should be putting in every effort that you can to make your life better. And that's, I've been doing that because I've been watching these things. And I realized when I was running a lot, 40, 50 k's a week. I was um, watching a lot of things like this. I was following a lot of fitness YouTubers and all that sort of stuff. And then when I don't do it, I get into binge eating on the weekends and eat, eating bad. And then the, the binge eating just bleeds into all the other days. And then I gain 20 kilos like I did. And then I'm back to square one. But I'm getting better and I'm getting stronger and I'm getting smarter with the way that I do things. I ate breakfast today. I don't normally eat breakfast. And as a result, I feel better so I'm going to try all that over the next week because I truly eating breakfast I really do feel um my run felt way better so I'm going to see how it goes um but yeah Whew, life is good start work at three it's only 10 40 and I've already had a shower I've already gone for my run I've already done everything that I need to do and I don't need to leave for work for another three hours and 20 minutes so yeah life is good couldn't be happier. It's going to be a one take today. I'm sad I don't get to see Emily, but that's okay. I start work at 9am tomorrow, hoping that I finish on time at 5 because it's my nephew Brandon's 18th birthday on Monday. I can't believe he's turning 18. It's absolutely insane. We're doing an escape room in North Melbourne on s tomorrow night um, and we're probably doing dinner beforehand. So I definitely want to get out on time to eat dinner with them. Um, and yeah. It's going to be good. I hope, fingers crossed I do. I think I will get out on time. And if I don't, I'll be pissed. It's all right, though. Um, and then the day after that, I start work at 7. So I'll have very little sleep. But that's not even a factor anymore. I don't care. I'm going to wake up at 6 tomorrow so I can go for my run. Because I'm just so motivated. It's not even funny. Oh, I can't wait. That's all I have to say for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.